It is toss time on match day seven, match number 13 between second in the table, Nutmeg Warriors, and fourth in the table, Clove Challengers. Preston McSween has the coin. The call is a tail by Andre Fletcher, and it is victory to Clove Challengers. Preston McSween win streak continues with a toss five and oh, and Preston, an important toss to win, and what will be the decision of the Clove Challengers? Uh, we will go first, again. Uh, Fletcher is playing this one down to backward square and this is going to run uh, down to the boundary for the first uh, boundary this morning. Fletcher plays this one over uh, the short third man down to the boundary for four. Again, the lifting delivery and he was looking to use his feet. Played um, two extra cover. You're going to pick up two here. Well played. Just checked it and a bad miss there. And ball goes over the roof for another uh, for uh, lifted. Uh, where does this one go? Over long on for the first. Poet maximum ball pitched up. Johnson easily get under it and hit it over long on for six. Pitched up again. Hit down to long on. The long on field has some running to do. Uh, just was not able to pull it back and goes to, uh, cross the roof under the boundary. Short That's delivery hit in the air. Let's That's see. Please. The mid off goes oh, back please. and Thank takes you. a Thank catch. You. Uh, really a good uh, shooter dismissal there. Uh, full toss and clip down to mid wicket and goes uh, across the roof for four. He down the track, Fletcher again and hitting oh, this one go over cover and they're going to come back for two again. Not timing it there. Uh, good lifting delivery. Really a sharp delivery ball by Jackson. Fletcher is hitting lovely shot yeah. over backward square. That's a superb shot. Fletcher having to reach for this one. Hit it well over backward point for four. Uh, this one. This one staying down a bit. Uh, right up and hit down to long off a fold. A lovely shot. Driven down to long off. Uh, Jackson. Comes up long of Bongji. And play down to square leg. A well timed shot well and really good bit of, bit of feeling well on the Bongji there. And hit through the covers. He smashed that down to backward point. That really travelled really quickly. Oh, lifting ball over the keeper head goes down to the Bongji for four buys. Yeah, caught his ball. Uh, really bad shot. Just swinging right across it. Oh this one hit him, over mid-wicket. Over mid-wicket for Powerhead maximum. Swung. This one uh, and the long off going to come off. Jackson takes an easy catch. Uh, well bowled by Preston McSween. You could still get something off it. Uh, down to the boundary for four. Short delivery. Played off his body. Uh, off the edge and uh, we well taken at that uh, short third man. Driven uh, down to the point feeler and uh, oh. hit over the keeper head and goes down to the boundary for four. Where does this go? This one goes uh, down to the cover boundary for four. Hit uh, down to cover, over cover, and the feeler comes off the boundary. One bounce. This guy, uh, this one is hit high in the air, and cover is going to come in and take a simple catch. This time he's uh, beaten for pace slightly, but rolling out to the offside, and the uh, sloppy work there by the clove. Good day again. He's turning. He will beat Thomas. And Thomas is right there, fine on the onside. And it will beat him down to backward. This time he's hooking and hooking well. And good fielding work there. Right there by uh, that looks like Thomas. This time he's hooking and hooking well all the way down to backward square. That rushes over the rope. Six runs, a power eight maximum. 
This time he belts him and belts him good. Straight back over the bowler. And uh, he finds the feeler running around. And that's an awesome take. This time he's looking to hook him. This could spell danger here. There's a man settling on that good catch. And uh, Huston Jackson departs. Better ball, but he's whipped off the pass. Danger here. The shot of catch, but dropping safely into the onside. And they turn for one. Contemplated the second. Decided against it. It's a good ball. He's bowled him. Oh, he's bowled him. All ends up beaten. Comprehensively beaten. He was nowhere near it. He played all around and over it. And that's a good delivery by Thomas. Oh, he's a loud appeal for leg before. This could be danger here. The umpire raises his finger. He's gone. Well, Thomas has just gotten. This could be dangerous here. Dangerous stuff here. But he just eluded the man down on the third man boundary. So... Similar shot again, but this time it could be danger. The, the same third man is settling on. They, they go for one. The thought of a second, but then decided against it. I think two was always on there. It should have been two. He heard a nick. Yes, the umpire raises his finger. You could have heard it from the commentary booth up here. Yeah, the shout is catch. There's a man running in under it. That looks like Descartes, who takes a really simple catch. This time he makes connection with it, but only to Descartes, who picks up another easy catch. And the Clove challengers are sinking further. That's a good shot there. Will it beat the field? And no, good field placing. And the final delivery of the innings. And Johnson Charles does the fielding. First up, we have the Powerade Prize for the most economical bowler. That goes to Mr. Imran Joseph of the Nutmeg Warriors. He bowled two overs for seven runs with an economy rate of 3.5. Now we move to the Powerade Top Striker Award, going to the players who hit the most sixes. And in this, and at the end of this match, we see Andre Fletcher and Johnson Charles coming out as the top strikers. They both hit two sixes this afternoon. And the player of the match, the Powerhead player of the match, goes to none other than Andre Spiceman Fletcher. He would have scored a whopping 53 runs in his account encounter against the Clove Challengers. Andre, congratulations on your player of the match award. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, it wasn't an easy wicket to bat on, to be honest. Um, once the bowlers hit the, the good areas, the ball were actually two pace. Um, I was trying to focus as, as long as possible and try to bat as long as possible to see if I could give my team a good total. I know 100-120 one, would have been a, a very competitive score and um, it's good that our bowlers defended it.